Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to tame a carker. So when this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. What's going to make this tame so easy is that we're doing most of the preparation beforehand. To start the tame, we're going to have to feed the carker creatures to make it friendly. I'll be using Rex babies as it's a big creature that you're able to drag. I only need one Rex baby, but I'm going to prepare the rest just for backup. Plus you might need more depending on your server settings. Throw the egg out and wait a couple of seconds before you throw the next. We're doing this so we can get the incubator timer down to almost nothing so it's about to hatch. And if you wait a few seconds before throwing each egg out, it gives you enough time to watch and pick up the egg at the right time. This one's about to hatch. And I try and pick the egg up when it's at a zero point percentage. That way you don't have to wait around so long when you're in the field. Because you've left a few seconds between each one, you have enough time to pick them all up. Right, once that's done, go take them and stick them in the refrigerator. They're just snacks to make the carker friendly. Now we need the main course. You'll need some big baby dinos to feed the carker with high draw weight and health. As you can see, I'm collecting Diplodocus eggs as they give you loads of taming bar XP. Use the same if you can, but if you don't have any breeding Diplos, breed the biggest creatures you're able to. But keep in mind the numbers of creatures used to be different from what I'm using. As you notice, Diplo babies will hatch in normal world temperature. So unless the temperature gets too hot or cold, you don't need a fire or aircon to hatch them. I again lay these eggs out, then pick them up just before we're about to hatch as close to 0% as possible. You wait a few seconds before you put the next egg down, so you've got enough time to watch each egg and pick it up when it's almost hatched like this. Again, depending on what taming rates your server's on, prepare about 15 to 20 so you've got enough diplos. Then put all the almost hatched eggs in the refrigerator to keep them there ready for when you find a carker. It might take a while because high levels are pretty rare, but once you do, fly back to base before anyone else can tame it. Go to the refrigerator, get all your eggs. You'll also need standing torches, spark powder for fuel, Metal dino gates and a large bear trap. Put them in your birdie so you don't have to carry them around. Then go back to your car to make sure it's still there so you don't lose it. Right, we always spawn on top of the mountains. It's easy to pull them down. So I'm going to go away from it, find some nice open ground. Demolish that tree. Just don't want anything hiding behind it. Get a metal diner gate, put it down, and then angle the rest and put it at the sides. Create a horseshoe shape. If there's any large rocks that can block the carcass path from going in your trap, get out your pick and get rid of them. And then put a large bear trap down in the middle. You can do two if you like to stop it turning around. It also gives you extra time to block it in. Wait for the traps to open. Get a door ready. So you can put it in behind. Block it in. Get on your bird. And go get the carker. Right, these things run really, really quick. So the only way you can escape really is going up in the air. Give it a little nibble, get its aggro. With its new pathing system, if you're flying around in the air, it knows it can't get you, so it doesn't follow. So if you land on the ground, it usually comes after you, as you still aggroed with it. Wait here a sec. All we want it to do is come down the mountain. Okay, looks like it's got stuck. Let's go give it another pack. Is it coming? Let's direct it towards a holding pan. Give it another pack and fly up in the air. Let's 
I'll get rid of that tree because I want a line of sight to it. Let's get rid of that one as well. Let's go back after it. Whoop. Sneaking back on me. Head towards your holding pen. Fly above it. Walk the carker in. Land a distance away from a trap. Because you don't want your bird getting eaten. Switch to your doors. Put them down. And you've locked it in. And you heard the clank of the second trap when it's trying to turn around. That gave you more time to lock it in. And there we go. It's trapped and we've done the hard part, which was easy. If you don't trap it like that and let it free roam, then it will just run around like crazy, travel miles away from you, lead you into danger, or come back and try and eat you and screw up everything you're about to do. Next, drop one Rex egg on the floor. We want to hatch it, but the weather can change the temperature. Check if the egg's incubating. A Rex egg needs to be hot. Get a standing torch and put it down. Then fill it with some spark powder and light the torch and check the egg again. And if it's not incubating, add another torch and keep making it hotter. There we go, we've hatched the Rexes. And we've got twins. Don't put loads of torches down and light them all up all at the same time or it'll get way too hot and the egg won't hatch. That's why you put down and light one torch at a time. Kill the Rex. We only need one body. You might need two on your server. Oh, and you kill the Rex before you put any of the Diplo eggs down because if you kill the Rex after, you'll scare all the Diplo babies and they'll start running away. So we killed our Rex baby. That's the first part. And then collect the rest of the Diplo eggs. Yeah, you could hatch all the babies and then cryopod them all up. But if you don't need to, why bother? We don't need that Rex. We have our Rex body ready. It will take ages for it to decompose. So don't worry about that. Then find an open space and throw down five Diplo eggs. Because they hatch on normal temperature, all of them should just pop out. If you have a heat symbol in the bottom right, you need to wait until that goes before the eggs hatch. And if you have a frost symbol, you'll need to put a torch down to warm the eggs up. Next, move a distance away from the first five Diplos, because you don't want the carker to bite all of them at once, and put another five eggs down. You'll notice we've got a frost symbol in the bottom right now. So it's too cold for the Diplo eggs to hatch. We'll need to put a torch down to raise the temperature. No, it'll need another. Check the egg again. It's still not incubating, so try a third torch. There we go, that worked. So that's two groups of five Diplos. Let's put another group down. That temperature's fine, so all of them should hatch. Now we've got 15 Diplos down. Again, you might need more on your server. The reason why we've split them up into groups of five is to make it easily manageable to control your rage meter. Because if you'd put all 15 or 20 Diplos together in one large group, then eat them all at once. Because you're eating a high number of large dinos, your rage meter will go up to 100 and throw you off. Then you've got to give it another Rex again, make friends with it, and that'll slow down your taming. That's why we split the Diplos in groups of five. I put a shield on just in case I get stuck. I've got my baby Rex body. Pick it up and drag it to the carker. It will sniff. And drop it near it. The carker will eat it. You'll get a green hexagon when it's your friend. That means you can ride it. Take down a couple of doors so you can get your carker out. Get on it. Go to the first group of five Diplos. Get into position. Now the blue box in the centre middle, that's your rage meter. Keep an eye on that when you eat them. There we go. So five Diplo babies. Took my rage meter up to 40 out of 100. And my taming bar up to 35%. So we're able to eat another five Diplos. 
So go to the next group and eat them. And that's took our rage meter up to 94, with a taming bar at 83% on 100% taming effectiveness. Now, if we eat anything else, the rage meter will go red at 100, and the Kaka will throw us off and be hostile towards us again. And then we'd have to drag another baby Rex to it to become friends. It adds more steps to the taming process, but I'm doing this tame as easy as possible. So all we have to do now is nothing and wait until the rage bar slowly goes down. The rage box is just above the taming bar. You can see the blue slowly going down. But when it reaches the bottom, it loses one point. Now when you've eaten many large creatures, your rage meter goes up fast like this, and the box slowly goes down over time. But the longer you don't eat for, the faster the decrease in your rage meter. There's a timer in the top right counting down, showing you how long a cock is going to be your friend for. And when that reaches zero, that's going to kick you off as well. But as you can see, we've got plenty of time. So you can mess around doing whatever you want at this point. Just don't dismount your cock or it'll run off and find something to eat. And probably have a group of five diplos you're saving for it, which wouldn't go well. Anyway, I'm just going to stand here and do nothing and skip forward until the rage meter goes down faster. Oh, if you wanted to get off and do something, you could take your Kaka back to your holding pen. Then once it's inside, switch to doors. And block it in so it can't get out. Then you can dismount in safety. Right, the Kaka's not eaten anything in a few minutes. And look how fast the rage meter's going down. It's almost ready to feed. Take down a couple of doors and let it out. Get on the Kaka. We know a group of five Diplos gives less than 50 points on a Rage Meter. So as soon as a Kaka is below 50 points, you can eat the next lot. It's 40 at the moment. Let's eat these. And there you go, a perfectly tamed Karka. How easy is that? Go on, that's worth a like and subscribe, isn't it? So, all you've got to do is get your eggs ready, stick them in the refrigerator, and wait until you find a good Karka. If you're on a PvE server, and can't kill your own dinos, watch your video at the end for the best way to tame it normally. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful and share it with your friends if you think it'll help them out. Click the bell notifications in order to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.